Hi guys, welcome again, and this is the 50th episode of the webcast, so uh, that will be the last for this season, so we'll, we'll make it a bit uh, uh, some a bit longer than usual, okay? So, uh, t today we're going to discuss about um, plugins and bugs that Lightwave has. Or, or you know it, it has had the, the as a version 5 has had okay so um there are some something that we want to, to take into consideration when we are um doing some stuff uh, uh in 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 the software okay um the, the first thing i would like to show you uh, which these are kind of trivial, but they can be a nuisance when you are mm, into when you're mo modeling your objects, you know. Um, so the first thing I had uh, encountered when I w was doing back back then when I was doing a uh, some um, modeling using blueprints, okay, it is. When you are into single mode, okay, so, you know, Lightwave uh, Modeler in particular lets you, you know, start, uh, you can either have um, a, a quad orientation, you know, you can have, say, this the screen uh, dividing into four uh, windows and you have, you know, front, side, top, and then you have a perspective, or you can have a single, whichever you of, of these four you would like, just uh, occupying the whole screen. Okay. Um, however, when you do a specific combination, there is, there is, um, let's, let me show you. So um, you have this, let's say I'm in, I'm in single mode and I want to model something, say, Okay, let me do a um, plausible example. So let's say I'm in brilliance and I want to, and I've just done some, uh, uh, say, wait a minute, I'm gonna find some, oops. Anyway, just let me find an IFF that I can load. Okay, 3D and, um, Let me see here. Okay, let me do some sketching anyway. Here. Okay, so let's say you have um you have this thing here and you want to model it. Okay? Or say you want to create some for example okay let's say you have this shape in, in 2d and you want it to to to, to make it into 3d okay great let's see here let me fix that anyway so i'm just saving that save and um, so let's say cling on like sign. Okay, IFF. So you have this, okay, and then you are a modeler, and then you just uh, load the background image. <laughs> like that. And so here. So you have this guy here, okay, you're in face. So you have X and Y axis. So that what you are you will be doing. So axis is going to be Z because you're in you're looking inside the Z axis. Okay, and just 
or automatic sizing and let's try it out so it's like that so I'll just um, do some more tweaking perhaps or so like something like this and you have lighter hmm, there there so this is my Hi, Anthony. Welcome. So I started, what I started to, um, you know, warming up a bit. Um, I began going through um, bugs I have found or others ha have found in uh, Lightweave 5. So um, I'm, I'm starting by um, trying to recreate a bug, a, a bug when one has um, selected a single or orientation here instead of the quad of the of the usual quad orientation. So what I've not I've, I've noticed is that when you are working with single face or orientation, and you have loaded some something and you start working, um, lot lot with crashes. <laughs> so I might not not be able to recreate that, but you know I'll I'll, I'll just give give it a try. So um, I made some. Um, custom Klingon like coat of arms or something so I'm trying to recreate this bug so anyway say here okay and then I want to make a yeah uh, uh, oops sorry undo there something no it's still you know it hasn't given up on me anyway but whenever you're working in single um in single ports just make sure to save at you know every instant you you're doing perhaps you don't have the the need to go in single um in a single viewport but uh, sometimes you can actually you it it, it may be uh, necessary to 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 do so so yeah so just working there and here here and there and uh, sometimes it's um, like we've just punished you with a very very nice um there anyway no it doesn't do anything anyway let me go to quad mode perhaps sometimes yeah and it's <laughs> it froze okay so what i did i went i tried to go back to the quad mode okay and it just didn't want to okay it it, it just uh froze like just like like that so yeah so be careful when going from uh, quad view to single view so that you know <laughs> to, to be safe and not lose any any work so I'll just have to reset my Amiga anyway so strike one so we found one bug okay so I am checking this I'm checking this so yeah <laughs> it's gonna be so fun today but anyway <laughs> Or maybe I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm something, I'm having something of a fetish. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so the the other bug I've noted, I've, I've, I've no noticed and uh, experienced in Modeler, okay, is uh, when you uh, are doing, say, uh, that was kind of recently. So when I when I was preparing the NURBS, um the the ner the me the meta nerves um, uh, show you know I noticed some I noticed a bug that uh, was like you know that should it, it shouldn't have happened so yeah so let's say I'm I'm making this guy here anyway this whatever I am about to to make I don't know I'm trying to improvise I'm letting the universe uh, guide my 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 mouse hand. So 
okay now i'm going into um in, in, into nerves mode okay so you can see that uh, the um, you know the the edges have been have, have begun uh, get, getting rounder now okay so um when i'm trying to do let's say bevel or something so let, let's do a bevel um no insets say zero mm, and shifting a um, say to 50 millimeters and let, let's give it a random um plus minus uh, value okay so i i, I just gotta get this but anyway let, just let me get make, make it more critical so 300 okay so this is my this is the um, quite quite interesting uh -huh. um B bevel works great here okay but when you try to make say a smooth shift instead okay so instead of instead of beveling you do smooth shifting so you want all these um polygons to uniformly uh, go you know towards one okay let, just let let me show you let me let me refresh um let me revisit it you know so that you you know what what, what i'm talking about so sorry i just wanted to rotate that anyway and here okay so these these are the um the surfaces i have chosen so um if i make a if i do a bevel i just have to show it one, once more let's say i'm doing like like that okay and just, you know just like like that it might it might look that you have a uniform nine um that you have a uniform nine nine uh, face say view here so but if you try to move these you will see that you are able to do that so it uh, vevel is creating uh intermittent say uh the these uh these polygons here as well okay whereas smooth shift okay smooth shift is creating um a whole these the, these these um uh, quads here they are un, um, they are uniform it, you cannot just you know take that you see here okay so the previous example when beveling it it you could you were able to to uh, distinguish them to, you were able to uh, separate them but you cannot do that in um, smooth shift so smooth shift is more of a um, pushing every face as one uh, take get, getting out every surface every face as well uh, one one face you know so you don't have to uh, later um yeah it, it it can help sometimes you need this sometimes you need beveling and, and, and so on uh, now if i do that while in metanerbs mode okay so let's make let me do the same thing once more okay smooth sheet offset and let's say one ah great no no fuss here but let me repeat that ah no worries there so let me just take some more and push it to the edge and bevel and then do some more stuff and perhaps these guys here do a oh great no no bug here anyway sometimes it it uh, can uh, it it crashes the, the whole computer it's not that it's not just that uh, the, uh, that modeler gets uh, stuck but it crashes the whole computer so there perhaps hmm? so very interesting something you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll just go on so let's say I'm choosing these select these and selecting these and then 
offsetting two, two meters. Okay. Okay, really interesting. It won't. It it it, uh, it got so embarrassed before, so that now it it, it doesn't want me to, it doesn't want to 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 crash. So now 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 it's stable perhaps. <laughs> anyway, try once more. Two meters. Nothing happens. But anyway, yeah, beware of that. Okay, be be careful when uh, smooth shifting while in meta nerves. Or perhaps it 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 can um, crash your computer while you know if, if, even in uh, you know in the usual polygon uh, mode. So yeah, okay. So this is a uh, this is the the bad guy's mothership or something. Yeah. Okay. So be be careful with that. Two. Now, both this and the next bug I'm going to talk about, I'm not sure about this because I haven't tried that, but the next bug I'm going to talk about is a layout bug that has been, um, that has been um, a, an obstacle since so so long i mean since, since i've um I, i've started doing uh i've started trying to replace object via plugins in layout since forever or, some, or something that i wasn't be able to um to do a on object replacement plugin for never until uh, mid one and kudos to to mid one. Uh, uh, when when I talked about him and about this plugin, he started you know uh, digging in, uh, in into what could be the, the problem. Could it be the, the the plugin itself? Could it be the um, uh, Lightwave or Amiga? The um, my, my Amiga, but uh, he reproduced it and he found a workaround. Okay. Before we talk about we talk more a bit more about the workaround, I'm going to show you the bug, okay? And it invo it involves this little button here, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's let's crash our amigas now. Okay, so um, remember when we're talking about asteroids? You know, do you remember when we were um, uh, making asteroids in a different Le uh, level of de de detail um, objects, yeah. So let me show you what can be here. Okay, so perhaps not this one. There. So this is, let's say, my asteroid. Okay. This is this this is an object I would like to have here and say every second every frame I would like that to be um, replaced with, with another object. Okay, object replacement, but at let's say one frame one uh, replacement per frame. Okay, um, when I have say two or three objects say like okay i'm loading that and i'm loading number three and i'm loading stage four two okay so i have all all four objects here so oops just let me okay so first is the low poly object then is the medium Polygon object. No, this this is the high. Okay, and third, this is the mid point, mid poly object. Okay, so the first has ninety eight points, ninety six polygons. The other has three eighty four, and the other has fifteen thirty six. Okay, so they have a very varying um, le level of de detail. Okay, so. 
um, you might want this uh, this object replacement pl plugin. Uh, plugin uh, say position they you uh, right right now i found two or um, two plugins that work with that on the amiga okay the one is the object list when you um manually edit a text a, a text file that tells lightwave at which frame you are going to be replacing which object for which okay uh, which is quite handy for example when you have when you want to ray trace a um, 3d timer okay you want a 3d timer and you want you know each second to for the object to change and of course you can do it with object di dissolve okay let's say i want this guy here okay to be say five frames uh, visible and then on on frame six I want it to go invisible okay and and so on but what happens if you want it to change every 300 frame I mean, every frame for 300 frames then you have a problem you won't be able to be sitting there and, and doing that you know plus what happens if you have more objects to, to work with that want that you want to be having this? Okay, so it's very, it can be very, very, um, uh, some very, very ma manual work and time co consuming and so on. So, since we have a computer, we can automate this function. So, there is, um, there, there are some very, very nice tutorials that are being, uh, that have been made by, um, let me give, let me see. Um, you know that that have many by new tech or by other co contributors uh, that have um, uh, that that have shared, contributed their their plugins doing just that. Okay, so the first plugin that I have here uh, w working is the object list, which does like just just this. You know, it uh, chain it replaces the. Uh, the active object with another object in in the list you will provide and the other is the level of uh, detail which is a plugin that scans i mean that is is constantly measuring the distance an object has from the camera where you can say i want say this object at 100 meters to change into the you know when when it's when it is approaching at less than 100 meters for for example the camera to be changed uh, for a more highly detailed object okay so then you, you know you you opt optimizing your um, uh, your resources if you have a say slow amiga or whatever you know you may have a very very have a scene that you might want to save resources and rendering time okay so let's go with our object list. So I'll just um, uh, clear these. Okay, clear these there. So I'll just having th this um, this uh, say this here, and how we can invoke the, the 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 plugins. First, we select the object replacement plugin here. And we select the object list. Okay, there is of oh, provided, of course, you have a uh, you have added the, the plugin here, for example. So uh, I'll just show you how to do that. Plugins, and then you can um, go to object list. So this is here, object list dot p. This is it. okay, and then you select it, and then you can use it so going to object going to object replacement plugins selecting object list by and then here in options it re needs you to input a um, a uh, a text file uh, called object list or something similar 
that will have the information that Lightwave needs to for replacing the uh, the the object. Okay, so let us do just that here. So mm, I'm going to my 3D here and let me see where I have it. So this scene here has already one. So I'll just here. So once more, let me see what is this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Object replacement, perhaps. Let me just let me go there to my. Lightwave for D. I'm going to plugins. I have a how to plugins. A mm, 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 layout, perhaps. No, Lightwave. Um, here, object list how to. So, the object list P plugin requires a text file that will be in the following format. So, this is the first line and then you can show you can have this a um, you know as a uh, as a template so using this i'll just copy that into my current ep episode and then you have um you have to have it inside your object uh, directory so I'll just copy that and then and then start to editing that okay so let's say uh, the object like this yes here so what what is the the format we're seeing here this is frame zero and it tells, um, this is frame, in frame zero, I think it won't replace anything, but, um, or let me see, let me see what's going on here. Then it, you have to have a full path with your, um, um, say, object, okay? So, what is my object like asteroid one st1 exactly but this time i'm starting with asteroid one st2 um i'm not sure just let me let me do a find and replace episode 19 to episode 50. so i'll just replace everything episode 50 great Okay, so what I want it to do, here's my, here are my objects. So I have asteroid one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. I want, let's say, frame one, I want to have stage two, say, no, let's, let's do that. Yeah, let, let us do that, you know, stage two, stage three, stage four, they will be changing every frame. Okay, so I'll just stage three and stage four. So now the frames are zero to four. Let me let me see because I don't remember how two three. So do we have a stage five? Stage four? No. But we can donut asteroid. Let us do a donut asteroid stage four in the last one. Okay, so yeah. Donut asteroid stage four. Is it correct? Donut ast stage four. We are deleting that. 
Great. Okay. So now we are saving that. Save as here. Object list text. There. Object list text. Okay. So now going now we're going back to Lightwave and you're doing Asteroid 1, stage 2, object replacement plugins, object list, options. And now you're selecting, hold on, um, I have to go back to webcast because it doesn't default there. Episode 50, objects, object list text. Okay, ready? And con continue. Let me see if that it's... So let's look once more at what we told it to do. Okay, so frame one is going to load stage three. Frame two is going to load stage four. Frame three is going to load donut asteroid stage four. Okay, so it's going to be a completely diff different object. So let's start with zero. So well, I'm, I'm doing F9. Whoops. There. Okay, good. It worked. By the way, let me save... Um, let me save the um, the scene because it's going to crash. I guarantee that. Start two. Okay. So, frame one. What will happen now? F nine. <laughs> ah, crash. <laughs> Great. So it's crashing and it's it's into loop or something. I don't know. It's looping. So that is something that. You know we have to to work. I mean I, have, I haven't been able until re recently to work these uh, plugins. Okay. Um, now, if you do that, it's totally guaranteed it will it will crash. It, it's it's crashing in the WinUAE and it will crash into real Amigas. Okay, so it's Lightwave's own memory leak problem. Okay, so what? mid one came up with and i'm going to show you now is you go to to aminet ah uh, what it crashed again what's going on now something happened my whole system just crashed The, the PC wouldn't restart or I don't know. Anyway, okay, now everything seems to be stable. So uh, where we were, uh, yeah. So the workaround I was talking about preventing um, Lightwave from crashing, you can found in, uh, in, in Aminet, really. Okay, so you just, uh, I think uh, programs like Enforcer and Mangwall can help prevent Lightwave from crashing. Okay, um, so Mangwall is the one we are, we're creating, so you were going to find it here. Okay, just um, search for one Mangwall, okay? And um, you can just invoke it, say, since I have downloaded it, uh, after you um, install it in a convenient place of your choice, you just um, um, run it, you know, in, in in a shell before you load Lightwave. Okay, so what I've done now, you know, I just um, run Mongol. So let's see if that will remedy the, the problem as it has been doing for some time now. Okay, so I'm loading the scene. Episode 50. And I was having asteroid two. Okay, so now in asteroid two, object list options, and I'm having. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, Anthony. 
so you select also this is the, the problem now with these plugins because they are older than the lightweight version I'm using so these probably were made for 3.5 or 4 uh, when, when I'm going in and selecting options I should yeah uh, the plugin um, starts uh, so it, it its root directory is um, Lightwave's content directory so you might want to change that okay into where we are now for when, where you work we are wor working now so let's say episode 50 okay so now uh, going to here and selecting object list options now you will be in the correct uh, root directory content directory okay so my object list exists here object list text okay so this is the one so I'll just start let, let's see now okay cross your fingers now and frame zero yes correct let's go to frame one now what's happened here yeah it loaded the um, new object so you see the object has changed so the plugin works great let's go into next the next frame and it's loading and now you see there is another object here okay so frame three frame three has nothing frame four has nothing let's see why is that because i had a um if you remember correctly i have the donut object to be loaded here so something's wrong here okay something's happening so object list let, let's see frame zero frame one yes frame two frame three it should be donut asteroid stage five okay do i have everything correct donut asked Slash and uh, st4 donut dust st4. So let's see. Let us go and load that number one again. So you see frame zero. The plugin works up to frame three. So <clears throat> I don't know why. So frame one, yes, replacing. Frame two, see here replacing. Frame three, nothing. Hmm. We have a bug inside the plugin itself, I think, because I remember having it um, work correctly um, some time ago. Okay, so object list. Let's edit that and see what is going on. I don't see anything here. I don't see anything here. Perhaps. No, nothing here. Stage four. Uh -huh. However, I am a bit skeptic about this edit editing program, so I'll just um, load up my load up ed the ed editor and open it through here. So 3D webcast episode fifty. Okay, now object and object list. Okay, so what is going on here? Zero, one, four, end of file. Donut asteroid four. Nothing's here. Saving that, let me save that and say okay frame three okay let me load it up again let me load it up again objects and object list and let us see again what's going on so frame zero okay going on pressing enter Frame one, yes, it replaced that. Frame two, it replaced that. Let's go now. 
frame 3 does nothing. Let me see now what we can... Let us check first if it is the object itself. Okay, so I'll just edit that and tell um, Lightwave not, not to load this guy here, but load there. So one, zero, one, three. We have events there here. No uh, frame two, no events. So let us here. Um, object replacement plugin. Oh, here. Okay. So let let let's see what's going on. F9, replacing asteroid. Yes. Frame one, completed. Yes. Frame two. Now frame two is going to be keep the same object. No. Wait a minute. Which means. But my text file was not written, so I'm just reloading the scene. Okay, and let's see what's going on here. Yes, okay, there is no plugin now. There is a plugin, but it doesn't read my my object list. And here we are. Frame zero. Yes, okay. Now the plugin is working. Now the plugin is why? Yeah. Um. Da 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 da. Aha! Didn't I save? Or perhaps it didn't let me save. Mm hmm interesting so let me clean the scene just in case it is kept there so yeah saving file object list text and let, let's see if the file is saved ah now the file is saved so when Yalato is using the text file it won't let it get written hmm, which is interesting okay now let's see if the, um, the the plugin works. Load asteroids two, going to into objects. This is the awkward part. I mean, why doesn't it load together with the scene? Because if I say, okay, see frame four, frame five, it hasn't loaded the uh, the list. I'm suspecting something. I'm suspecting that perhaps it has to be in the content directory, but we'll see about that later. Okay, object list. And frame zero. Frame one. Now the plugin is checking. Frame two wouldn't have any event, but frame three. No frame three, why? No, nothing, nothing. Okay, frame three. Three D web cast episode five objects donut asteroid stage four. Am I seeing? Am I not seeing something here? Perhaps. Perhaps it's this. Let me see now. Never know. Yeah, let me paste that here and um, here and paste that. Let me cut that and move it here. Okay. One, two, three, asteroid three, donut, asteroid stage four. So let me now do that. Let me load scene, asteroid two. OK, 
Okay, let me see. How's the plugin being loaded? Ah, okay. Frame 2, frame 3, no effect. Why? Load object. Let me see here. Donut asteroid stage 4. Here it is. So strange, don't you think? This is so strange. So editing again. It doesn't want to load um, this here. Why? Episode 50, object, donuts, asteroid. Let's put another thing, okay? Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Perhaps it will need some more, <clears throat> some more characters. I don't know, but save that and load once again the scene. Let's see now. Frame zero. Frame one. Frame two. Frame three. Let me add a line to here. So 3D webcast episode 50 objects and asteroid one stage one. Okay. And see what happens here now. Um, once more, let me let, let me clear the scene and try to save and verify that I have saved, which is here. No, I haven't saved. So strange. I mean, okay. Let me see here now. No, I haven't saved. <laughs> I found another bug for another program. Oh, great. Let me save that as object list 2. Here it is. Remove that. Aha! Object list dot text is in use. By whom? Perhaps if I quit Lightwave. Try again. No, skip. Perhaps it's used by that. Okay. Delete. That was an error. Can it be mangual? Perhaps. Control C. Mangual removed. And deleting that. No. And let me rename that. Perhaps it. Ah, it worked. Great. So it's. Okay, so I'm verifying that this is the correct one I want. Yeah, okay. So the Donut Asteroid exists in frame 3 and in frame 4 I have, um, I've told it to load something else. You know, Asteroid 1, Stage 1. Okay, let me see now. Um, reloading Mangual because it was innocent. That didn't have anything to do with that. And scenes, Asteroid 2. Let's see now. Replacing asteroid. Nothing happens now in frame two. Frame three. Ah. Okay. And frame four. It worked. Uh, 
I don't know, did I do something wrong or before and it worked right now? I don't know. Um, thing is that this is locked, this is still lo locked here. Um, that works really. Okay, it works very, very nice. Um, so remember when using an object replacement plugin, uh, just load manual and let, let it run in, in, in the background, okay? Um, now there's another plugin that, which is very interesting. That's that's why I chose uh, the Asteroids. Um, the uh, That's why I chose the Asteroids for, uh, you know, uh, working with object replacement because um, there is another interesting plugin that can uh, yeah th this is the, the plugin that was telling you about this is the level of detail plug plugin okay which does I exactly the same thing but it works with in dist with distance not with um, uh, frame numbering okay so I'll just uh, save uh, clear the scene okay and we have first you you clean the, you clear the scene then you position your camera um, in you're re resetting your camera's position okay are you with me hmm? keyframing that then you load your first object and let's see it should be let's do the donut asteroid okay so it's four the donut asteroid is here and it's also at zero uh, meters away from from the camera okay now you might want you start move, moving the camera and let's say this is my very highly detailed object okay and you say okay let me say that's at 700 700 meters away i want my object to change to the lower uh, the lower uh, polygon count object okay minus 700 then i want it in frame 10 okay and then i go back then i go to say going on moving out okay frame 20 I have my camera at minus 1400 meters. Okay. And I think, how, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. And let's say at minus 250, 205,000. On frame 30, I have my, my camera. Um, very at a very very long distance. So, so this is what is going to happen. Okay. So let me see. So at some point at ten, at uh, seven hundred um, meters, fourteen hundred meters, and twenty five hundred meters the um, the um let's say the object is going to be changing okay so let me see donut asteroid level of detail okay great so that works with the same in the same way um I'm just going to donut asteroid and let me create my the asteroid first. Okay, so 
Oh, don't remember the level of detail how that works really. Uh, so I'll go to Lightwave there. Programs, plugins. Level of detail. Okay, so you have a usage file here. Okay. And here you have a de description. Okay, it says line one, you have to have the number of levels to be used. So, number of levels to be used. So, I'm just hold on a minute, just let me think. Load. Great. So, great. So I'm going here and right and making a new file called donut lod dot text. Okay, which is going to be like that. I have four levels of detail. First. Line one is for levels of detail. Okay. Line two is file name of object with the most detail. Okay. File name of object with the most detail. So I'll just go here and write 3D webcast episode 50 object donut asked how was that donut asteroid stage four donut asteroid stage four stage four is it correct yes okay that was the highest detail object number three distance meters which the object in line two will appear usually zero so line three is going to be zero zero meters just that enter line four file name of object with fewer details so now this is my stage three so 3d webcast episode 50 objects donut as stage three okay and file name of object with your details yeah distance of with the object so line three hold on a minute object line two yes file name line five distance meters with the object in line four will appear so line five is like 700 meters okay and i think you repeat yeah repeat lines four and five for the remainder of the levels specified in line one okay so i'll just do like that webcast episode 50 objects donut asteroid stage two 1400 meters 3d webcast episode 50 objects donut asteroid stage one this is 52500 zero, zero. okay so four levels of detail one two three four yes this is at zero this is at 700 this is 1400 this is at 2500 zero, zero. so i'm saving that writing donut lod and let's see and it looks it looks great okay so i'll just go ahead and load this here okay and 
donut will do here. So it loaded up correctly. So let me save the, uh, the scene. And let's go ahead. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, from eleven, yes. Twelve, twenty, twenty-one. Replacing, great, it worked. Great, so it worked. Let's put some thirty-one here, so that so that it will save the. Um, so this is twenty-nine. 30 and 31 replaced great okay so that works to so um you you can see that uh, using manual it um, prevent lightwave from uh, accessing Ill illegally accessing uh, memory um illegally allocating memory where it shouldn't Okay, so this is a nice workaround. Kudos to mid one again uh, for um, finding that. Okay, so now we're going to be using some modular macros to create an asteroid field where each object is going to be, um, say, it will be a uh, modular will be conveniently save. A, um, a bunch of objects without us having to do it manually. So it's like a very, very handy and, and com comfortable way to, to, to do stuff, you know. So let us see now what. First of all, we are making um, points in. We go to modeler and we will be creating some random points, say 20 points. Okay. These are there. Um, now, in another layer, I'm going to be having, say, the uh, this asteroid one, asteroid one, stage four, okay, which is this guy here, okay. So, first of all, what I'm going to, to be doing, let, let's say I have these points here and I have the asteroid, which is a very, very large object compared to the points. Now, the goal of the points is to tell the modeler where each object is going to, to, to be sitting. It's going to be exist existing in in space. So um, let's say undo. Perhaps this is great. So yeah. So imagine each point being a um, an asteroid. Okay. So you want this to you want them to to be um, um, sufficiently away from from each other. So that's when you are uh, making, where you replacing them with uh, the asteroids, it won't, it won't, they, will, they won't be colliding together. Okay. So I think this is sufficient. Yeah, this is a very, very nice. It, it, it is sufficiently um, comfortable here for, for our asteroids. Okay. Now, what we are going to be doing is um, there is a um, a macro called let me see where he is these are the Gonzalo macros you can also find these you can find all the other uh, plugins I'm uh, I'm talking about in uh, in the EAB. Um, 
repository. Okay. So what I am going to be doing is I am going to be creating an object swarm from the Gonzalo macro plugins. Gonzalo macros really. And and let me just select that and see what's going on. Okay, now here, when you activate the, the plugin, you can uh, read the general usage, which I won't be doing, and it says some very, very uh, quick uh, start uh, instructions. So, yeah. So it says here how to use it. Load the object you want to clone into one layer, then create a or load a set of points that specify exactly where your clones will be and place it in the background layer. So I have to do, I have to have the um, the particles, the points in in the background layer. Okay. Then it goes under the macro and answer the options available, and you will end with either a scene file or your original layer with all the clones. If creating a scene, you will be asked what's the file name of the object we are cloning. Okay, that's basically it. Anyway, so I'll just cancel and invert my layer. So I have my my original object in the foreground. Okay, so running the script again, object swarm. And what I want to do is I want to have a scene file, yes. Auto centering, not, not not really. Rotations, I want to be random rotated. And sizing, I can have them resize, getting resized. So let's say the offset, say 1.1.9.9. So say, okay. There and pressing OK. <laughs> now I have to save the scene. Scene webcast 50. Saving the scene, and I'm going to be doing a uh, asteroid belt. Okay, <laughs> now it wants us to save the object which we will be doing in a minute, so yes, episode 5, objects, and the object shall be called, say, asteroid. Asteroid, do I have any asteroid here? No. Great. Now, do I want self shadow? Yes. Cast shadow? Yes. Receive shadow? Yes. Clip map? And you have some more options here. Displacement map, yeah. nothing. Okay, so, okay. And scene created. So let's see what we have done here. Mm, donut asteroid level detail, asteroid belt. Okay. So where are the, oh, there they are. It's great, this is so great. Now, why is this so great? I would be, you know, I could very well clone all the objects and, you know, save them together. The great thing with that is that this is not one object. This is, say, each asteroid is an object uh, in, in itself. So you can see here, you can manipulate each asteroid how you wish. Okay. So this can open a, an array of possibilities. For, for example, you can um, run the level of detail plugin for each and every asteroid so you will you can create an immense say asteroid field with hundreds thousands of uh, rocks that will be loaded intelligently um, you know in from low to high detail 
um, according to how close the camera uh, will be okay so and why should yeah, let's let's do just that okay um let me see here let me save the scene once more asteroid belt and i think i have to asteroid lw oh so now i have to tell i have to create an asteroid belt so an asteroid belt file okay aster asteroid belt um level of detail text okay and now so so how many levels of detail do we have let's see here and um, this object is um This object is oh, which is one? Oh yeah, yeah. This is the one. Thirty-six, nine, thirty-two. So this is the asteroid one, stage stage four. So uh, we have four levels of detail. Okay. Send the highest L level of detail object shall be. Um just let me, let me let me save that and open with here and open with uh, the editor and see what's going on here so 3d webcast episode 5 objects and asteroid asteroid Lightwave object, okay. This shall be from zero meters, okay. Now, we can copy that and paste it here. So, this shall be the next level. So, the next level is called This asteroid one stage three. Asteroid one stage three. Okay, I'm mixing up the um, the file names here, but uh, anyway. Then I can. Copy. That should be changing in say. 100 meters okay now here stage 2 200 meters now this one stage 1 do we have a stage 1 yeah we do have a stage 1 so that should be in 300 meters okay so I have four levels of detail four first one is in zero the other one is in 100 meters 200 meters and 300 meters from the camera saving it verifying that it's saved asteroid belt level of detail so asteroid asteroid one two three three two one yes correct and let's do that for all the uh the asteroids here so level of detail donut other one perhaps I can copy that here there and copy the asteroid belt LOD here for convenience asteroid belt LOD asteroid 3 
let us save here and see how, if if it works, you know. So asteroid belt. Let's save that and go back. Let me make 30 frames of yeah and zero and 30. So now it's replacing the asteroid. Okay. Which is which one? The asteroid one, stage one. So I have everything except this one, perhaps, which is here, center. Yeah, this is a stage three. All the other ones are stage one, which is these these quads here, these uh, cubes. So it works really, really well. So let me just um, go on and do that to everyone. And then we'll do some uh, text editing so that the levels of detail shall be more realistic, I mean, more usable We're almost there, almost there. Great. What's the root? Oh yeah, it's a, it's an all internal object. So asteroid belt, saving everything. So let's see. So now it's replacing everything. So you can see clearly that 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 it's working. And the list here, you can see everything is in stage one. So I have to increase my, the distances. Okay. Oh, donut asteroid. What's the donut asteroid doing here? Interesting. Anyway, do I have a donut asteroid? No, I don't. Anyway, deleting that. There. Great. So, cleaning the scene, clearing the scene, and making the asteroid belt a bit more, um, say, real life. So, um, asteroid belt, editing, say, 1000, 2000, 3000 meters. Save that. Yep, it saved that. Okay, so going here, load asteroid belt. Let's see what's going on here now. So frame zero, let me
<laughs> yes. I have to move the camera though so that it will be having more of a uh, of more of view of a view from the other asteroids too. So here let let's say. Okay, so something like this. Zero and then going here. Thirty. So zero. Yep. Now I have this. <laughs> so perhaps I'll add a, a, a one zero more to that. Okay, so saving the scene again and clearing. Asteroid belt edit. Hmm. Let me see if it really was put into effect because it might be embedded into the yeah. Uh, so here I have a fifty perhaps so this should be this object here should be okay, which is stage three and not stage four. Yeah. So perhaps I have to reload all these um, things, so kind of awkward, but anyway, um, here, so So I have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. That should be, that should have been uh, stage four, really. Ah, that's why my mistake here, edit, clearing the scene and thousand, two thousand, three thousand, save, there. So this is, yes. Let us load this in and see if they get loaded again. No, I have to reload that, unfortunately. Perhaps I have to reset that. There. There, let's see now what happens. Yeah. I have to replace everything. So this is the asteroid. Oh, sorry. Now it got less detail and even more 
So yeah, I will have to to reload all this. Ah, it can be more awkward, but yeah, that's life with you know old programs. But anyway, uh, it's very cool that we can do that, really. Okay. Um, so that was it for today. <laughs> It was a quite quite eventful episode, uh, so I apologies for that, but I, I didn't. That was quite unexpected that my whole the whole PC should should uh, crash. Anyway, um, I hope that you will all have a very very nice uh, and warm summer. Uh, oh, what happened? Uh, the Amiga crashed, I don't know, anyway, um, take care, uh, stay healthy, um, I don't know if you have any questions, I don't know if there's anyone here, but anyway, um, last but not least, a shout out to um, our patrons, and I really, really thank you for the support, um, they are George Sokanos Walkero, Anthony Jarvis, Midwan, Yarla, GS, and Chris Forrester. Thank you for your support. Have a nice summer, a great, great summer, and see you in September. Okay, bye bye.